For several cane cutters, staying with host families is part of the collegiate summer ball experience, but it's more than just a place to sleep at night. Families welcome players from across the country and beyond into their lives with open arms and form lasting relationships. Ann Tollison, a mother of four, has been a host mom for the cane cutters for four seasons. It all started with her own son Sam's career at the University of Central Florida and various summer leagues. Besides being a host, she also takes pictures at the games. My own four children, I have been pestering them and their friends since they were in T-ball and they're now in their late 20s and 30s so and I just kind of find other victims. <laughs> and Ann's baseball family keeps growing. Victor Sanchez, he plays for the University of New Mexico, he's a pitcher and he's getting married and I got my invite and I'm so excited because I'm flying out there and his mom sent me the sweetest note. She said she cried, he grinned and I'm going out to meet even more people to include in my world. First time cane cutters Kevin Capella, an outfielder at Florida Tech and pitcher Carlisle Kessler, a Mississippi native transferring to Southeastern in the fall, are staying with Tolleson. Both were initially nervous about living arrangements this summer. Not knowing anybody, especially living with some random person that I've never met, but it's been great so far. But those fears are long gone. After I met Miss Han, I was just very welcoming here. I feel like this is my home. My second home. And the two agree that Tolleson's hospitality enhances the summer ball experience. Last year I had, I had to stay in a hotel all summer when I played. I mean, it was like, it was just, I didn't even want to play in it. But now it feels like you're coming home so you can actually relax and have a summer. Coming up from the field knowing like you have a bed, you like, this is like your second home. So it's, it's no worries at all. Some of them want to go pro. They hope to be drafted. Some of them, they want to go finish out college, but they want to stay in tip top shape. And you know, I try to give them the comfort because it's a job. It's, it's a hot job. It's a hard job. As for Anne, her doors are always open and her eye always pressed to a camera. As long as this body holds up and I can climb out on the uh, visiting dugout and keep taking my pictures, oh yeah, they're stuck with me. I'm like a bad habit. I'm not on payroll so they can't, they can't, get, they can't fire me. So I'm there. I don't want to quit. In Lafayette Parish, Lydia Magallanes, News 10 Sports.